Hey, welcome to this lesson on rate equation and mechanisms. So, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what time you watch this talk through lesson. Um, so, in this video, what we are looking at is a the rate equation. We're going to be using the rate equation. We know what it is from uh, the previous um, lesson on rate equation to identify the rate determining step in in the different steps of a mechanism of a reaction. Uh, as you probably have come across, uh, one overall reaction can be broken down into several steps, and in that step, we should be able to identify identify which one of that is the rate determining step by using the rate equation. Okay, All right, and then when series of steps or stages of a reaction is given like a mechanism is given you should be able to combine them to write an overall reaction this is really straightforward uh, and it just needs a little bit of practice and you should be able to get that one okay and that is also easy um, then the third thing is third objective is suggest a possible rate equation so if you are given uh, in a series of steps, if you are told which one is a rate determining step or uh, some idea about which one is the rate determining step, you should be able to come up with a rate equation. That is also not too bad. You should just use the species and uh, that are involved in that step and that should be easy to accomplish and, and do. This one is slightly harder you should be able to come up with a possible two-step mechanism but there are methods that you can actually use to make this process easier and if you stick to those methods you should be able to come up with a two-step mechanism now when we do the two-step mechanism we'll come across this word so i'm going to write this word here we'll be using that in this lesson it's intermediates okay now these intermediates are something that you come up with so you come up with uh, when you actually make up a two-step mechanism uh, you uh, come up with this intermediate and that makes it slightly harder but with a little bit of practice you should be able to get an idea about how these intermediates look like and it is really flexible in what the examiners accept as intermediates okay so you will see how this can be done although initially you'll find it slightly tricky uh, or, or with a with little bit of practice you should be able to do this as well okay so that's, these are the four objectives we're going to look at today so let's have a look at this example uh, what you have are two steps of a single reaction uh, the mechanism is given uh, key thing to notice is that you have um, this species NO3 being produced and used here okay so this species is the intermediate uh, I'll come back to that in a moment okay so what you need to also be I'm going to show you now um, how to arrive at the overall uh, equation now okay so the from the two step uh, two stage process two steps given here we're going to arrive at an overall equation of uh, the whole process okay uh, so you have two no2 molecules here but then uh, you uh, you have two two no2 molecules here let me show you one moment here one and two uh, and also you have one here on the right hand side so when you see the same uh, species on the left and on the right hand side you can actually cancel it so I'm going to cancel one of them because I have this on the left and on the right hand side so that leaves me with one NO2 so I'm going to write one NO2 here uh, what I'm writing below this line is the overall equation plus uh, you will notice that the NO3 species, as I said already, it's an intermediate species. So I'm going to cancel that from uh, both sides. 
um, and that will not appear in the overall equation. So then you have uh, the the uh, the carbon monoxide. I'm going to show you that plus CO. So that is still here. Uh, then you have uh, the NO on this side and then CO2 on this side, nothing else there. Okay, so I'm going to write these two over uh, and the overall equation. So NO plus CO2. Okay, so that's how you arrive at the overall equation. Okay, key things to remember that we don't have um, this species, NO3, NO3 molecule uh, in the overall equation. So that is what an in, uh, you should be able to spot the intermediate in that way. If it does not appear in the overall equation, but it is in the steps uh, leading uh, to the uh, overall equation, then then that is the intermediate. Okay, so that's one one thing. The okay, second point is that then what is this rate determining step? Okay, so we're going to go into that. Step one is the slow step. Okay, this, this will be given in any problem or any exam question that you attempt. Uh, they will either identify that step or they give uh, the reverse of uh, the process where they give the rate equation and ask you to identify the rate equation. And as this is an example, I'm going to give you uh, the slow step, um, slow step, and then this is the faster, uh, so this is the fast step. Okay, so normally you will have to deal with the two-step mechanism. Occasionally, very rarely, they give three-stage mechanism uh, with some bits missing, which you have to figure out. We'll come to that later on. So most of the time you'll be dealing with a two-step mechanism, or you have to make up a two-step mechanism, okay? So in this example, I've told you that the first step is the slow step. Um, yeah, so that step is the slow step. And the second step is the fast step, and this is the overall equation. So we, are, we know that much, okay? So now, uh, the rate equation for this is this, okay? So rate equals K, the rate constant, the concentration of NO2, square okay so this is what we have so it's uh, obviously second order with respect to no2 and zero order with respect to everything else basically okay so that's all we have here now what this rate equation shows you is that the first step is the slow step that is the rate determining step how this relates to this uh, the, the mechanism the steps is what you need to pay attention to Okay, so notice that there are two NO2 molecules in step one, and this is what appears in the rate equation. What that means is the rate of the reaction depends on how fast this step is. It really doesn't matter about the second one is really fast. So the rate of the overall rate of the reaction only depends on the slow step. Now, if you think about a uh, relay race, uh, the speed of how fast they can complete the race will depend on the slowest person, right? So it must be fairly clear now how you should use the rate equation to identify the slow step or otherwise called rate determining step. So that step determines the rate. So I'm going to write uh, this uh, another way of uh, uh, saying the slow step is the rate determining step. The, this step determines the rate. Uh, so you need to be aware of this um, way of describing as well, rate determining step. Okay, so, uh, so key thing to know from here is that you should be able to identify the slow step if the rate equation is given. So rate equation is here and you notice the two uh, NO2 molecules involved. So in the steps, look where, which step involves the two NO2 uh, molecules, or it can be species, or even um, acid, uh, H plus, proton, anything. 
So whatever in the right equation, look for that in uh, in the steps, wherever it is, that's a slow step. So it should be fairly obvious how to identify the rate determining step or the slow step. Okay, so the reverse uh, kind of uh, idea is that if you are given the, the slow step, imagine this is already given, then you should be able to write the rate equation, the rate of that reaction. Okay, so that means the concentration of these two. Uh, so the slow step uh, tells you, uh, in a way, you should be able to suggest the rate equation by just using these two molecules uh, uh, in the rate equation. So just, you should be able to go the other way as well. So by just looking at the slow reaction, you should be able to suggest the rate equation. Okay, so we'll look at uh, one or two more examples uh, to really um, look at both uh, ways of doing it, uh, you know, both types of problems and maybe a few more, okay? So let's have a look at this uh, exam question uh, from OCR exam board. Okay, so we're going to look at that. This question here. The rate equation is given. Here is an equation given. This is only an overall equation, okay? So the question is asking you to predict a possible two-step mechanism for this reaction. The first step should be the rate determining step. So what they're saying is the first step should be your slow step. So um, what you should use, two things to consider. You have to come up with an intermediate here, okay? Uh, co consider first of all the rate equation. You, you have H2 and ICL. Uh, involved in the in in the rate determining step so that's what the rate equation shows okay so but from that you should be able to make the first step because they want the question is asking you to keep the first step as the rate determining step so what you should do uh, notice that there's two molecules of icl here um, but here only one okay but so that it's so that you should really consider that when you're actually coming up with the two-step mechanism, okay? So I'm going to uh, write the first possible step, or you can leave out blanks and then think about uh, how to fill them in, okay? So let's look at that, the method uh, of how to do this, okay? So here, uh, I'm going to write uh, the from the rate equation uh, the first step, okay? You can actually start with the uh, what information you have. Uh, so all, all I have here is the rate determining step uh, should have these two species, um, which is one of this and one of this. So I'm going to start the first step to include uh, just in just involving these two species. Okay, so I'm going to move that away. Then what you have, I'm going to leave a blank here for my intermediate. And then uh, I have the overall equation. I know what the overall equation is, and it's given there. So you can just write the overall equation. So leave the step to blank for now. And then put the overall equation, which is H2 uh, and 2ICL, giving 2HCL plus I2. Okay, so this gives you an idea about how to go about making the missing bits of um, this. So this is a good approach. So you know exactly what the uh, what is missing in the two steps. Okay, so there are two steps here. The first step, we have used the rate equation to actually come up with these two species here, H2 and ICL. We don't know what goes in here. Obviously, there is two ICL here, so I can uh, put one ICL for the second step. It must be in the second step. So I put ICL here. Now, there is two HCL here. So now you can actually think about the missing bits. So something should go here and here and here, okay? Uh, there, are, there are two HCl to be made and one I2 to be made. Okay, so you must consider that. 
you have to have one I2 somewhere um, in uh, the two steps. Okay, so I'm going to write that down possible first, uh, the, the, the intermediates in the first step, okay, or intermediates or what are the products, uh, the products in the first step. So uh, I can, I have to guess here, you'll have to guess as well. Okay, so think about all the common chemicals that you come across, H2 and ICL. So I may want to put down HI and HCl. Uh, notice that I've used one of them already, okay, so I've got uh, the HCl appearing here so I've, I've actually accounted for one of the two hydro, uh, hydrogen chloride molecules in the overall equation okay so I have to have one more on the right hand side and there's no getting away from that okay so I'm going to write down one more HCl here because uh, I have to have uh, the two HCl molecules here okay so I've put that here uh, in the second step then, then I think about this, so H2 and ICL, okay, so what is not present here? This HI is not present here, can you see? So I'm gonna put that here, okay, on the second step. So, so this HI, I'm gonna use here on the second step uh, and to produce uh, an I2, which uh, make, make sure that the atoms actually tally uh, on the left and on the right hand side. So here you, you got two I and then an I two. Uh, make sure that you have that. Okay. So what I've done now is come up with this intermediate. Okay, so let me uh, show you that. Okay. So this intermediate it, it's produced in the first step. And it's gone in the second step and so it does not appear in the overall equation okay I hope it makes sense okay so let's rewind this process a little bit uh, so in the initial first step I have come up with something using these two and I, I also considered the product so I can have one of them uh, or none of them at all uh, you don't have to have this so you may be wondering okay what if if I write like this would that be correct so i just go with something random instead of this h uh, i h c l i just put h2 i c l as my intermediate will that be okay now this is, is something that you probably have never seen but they still accept this okay so anything uh, is okay as long as you make the two HCl in the second step. So if you go with this, make sure you have the two hydrogen chloride molecules made in the second step. Okay, because uh, no matter what, uh, whatever you have here, most of the time uh, the examiners are exam uh, examiners are really flexible in what kind of intermediate you come up with. As long as your molecules tally, you know what that means is. So this HI cancels out and you're able to get the overall equation in that way, okay? So basically that cancels out with the HI and you have that 2ICL appearing in the final equation is accounted for and the hydrogen is there. So as long as you arrive at the overall equation, this is fine. I hope this makes sense. Uh, so what we have done, just a brief summary of what we have done is like, we have actually used, so all we have done is used uh, the information given here and the question itself. So we have actually used the right equation to come up with the first step, which should be our rate determining step. That's what we have done here. Okay, so what we've done is uh, use those two molecules to come up with our first step. Uh, we put this first and then left this blank. Uh, then consider the write the overall equation underneath and think about what possible intermediates you can have. You can have one of this or two of this as long as you tally the atoms. The atoms on the left 
the total number should be okay uh, equal to the atom number of atoms on the right hand side obviously so even in the steps be really careful about that h2 so you have two hydrogen here two hydrogen here so as long as you make some intermediate with these two that should be okay but make sure uh, your overall equation agrees with the steps and any intermediates cancel out okay uh, that's basically uh, the essence of this uh, connection between the rate equation and the mechanism. Uh, this is a really simple example, and it's only two marks if you look at the uh, uh, question itself. Uh, some, it, but it can come up as part of a bigger question. So be uh, uh, aware of this, and you should be able to uh, deal with any variations of these questions. So I'm taking a simple example to just to illustrate how this can be done, just a method that we're looking at. Okay, we've taken a longer time to understand this, but I think it's useful when you, useful to gain, as you do more and more, you'll gain good speed and you can do this in two minutes. Okay, so let's consider another uh, example here. Uh, it's also another OCR exam question. First part of the question is asking you, what is the rate determining step? The answer is, that is the slowest step of uh, the uh, series of steps for an overall reaction that's taking place. Okay, so the overall reaction is given here. That box is actually an arrow. So let me right click that one. It's like uh, when you copy and paste, it makes some mistakes. Okay, so that's an arrow. So this box is supposed to be an arrow. Uh, but I have rewritten this equation on uh, on the whiteboard, so it should be okay. So what you're given is this overall reaction and you're also given uh, part of the two-step process uh, or for the mechanism. So you just have to come up with uh, the missing parts of the equation, okay? So what you have uh, is the... So from the question, you can extract all the information. This, this reaction takes place in two-step mechanism and you have... The overall equation given here, that box is an arrow, and you have the two steps given here. So we're going to just use this. This time it's slightly easier. Notice there's a two here, so there must be two of something reacting, two of a species reacting with this this one here. Um, these are all subscripts. Okay, so I'll, re I'll rewrite this equation, uh, these steps on the whiteboard now. Okay. Notice in this case the rate equation is not given. Okay, so you are given the first step as being the uh, rate determining step. Uh, so there, we got that there. So the first step, RDS, it means that's a rate determining step. So you have uh, one species uh, here of something, two of something giving one water molecule so we're going to use I've uh, just extracted this information and written it there uh, so but may be aware of this the first step being the rate determining step okay so RDS stands for that because okay, so two of something uh, goes with this and we also have the overall equation so I'm going to write the overall equation here um, okay just two H2 plus, uh, this is given in the question itself, so I'm just writing it here. Okay, so you've got the overall equation to help you with, okay. So, uh, the first step has a water molecule forming. So, you can uh, possibly write down a, a H2 here, one H2 here, use one H2. And then two of the NO uh, molecule here. Okay, so we've used that. Why why not the other ones? You have one water molecule here, which is uh, accounted for here. Okay. Then you have uh, so that H two has been accounted for. You also have two nitrogen atoms now. And mind you, there's one more oxygen atom left. 
So I have to make up something here with two nitrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Think about something that you might have come across in chemistry, something like N2O. Okay, so that is the uh, species. Mind you, uh, this N2O is not one of the products. So this, you, what you've just come up with is an intermediate. So that means you have to have that here. So I'm going to write that species over here again, uh, N2O. You understand why that is? Because that has to go now, because it's not part of the overall equation. Then I have to think about, uh, not only you have a look at the products, okay, what other atoms are missing. So you have, uh, you have N2 here, which is that one. So you have N2 here and N2 here, so that's accounted for. But you don't have the H2O here. Notice they use the information in the overall equation as well. So you have 2NO already used up here. So you can't use any more NO here. But you have only one hydrogen used in the first step. You have one more hydrogen left. You might as well try that to see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to put that hydrogen here. Does that tally up with... Uh, the, the product, the atoms, to count the atoms quickly. Uh, so you have uh, two N atoms here, two nitrogen atoms, two nitrogen atoms, one oxygen, one oxygen, hydrogen, everything is okay. All right, so what you have come up with is, uh, is a, a two-step mechanism here. Uh, make sure that your overall equation agrees with the steps that you have uh, got. So you may have to cancel out a uh, the, to, to just check it, okay? so you have this NO2 uh, as an intermediate, so that's going to be cancelled out. Uh, so when you see uh, that color, you see the NO2 gets cancelled out, uh, so N2O gets cancelled out. So you have this um, two hydrogen added to get this, two NOs here, so you have two water molecules made here, and then one N2 here, so that perfectly agrees with the overall equation. You've just come up with uh, a two-step mechanism uh, this is possibly people struggle with but mind you once you practice a few of these then you should be able to come up with something sensible as an intermediate okay now this part here the examiners and the, the mark schemes if you look through them uh, they accept a variety of answers so it's not like you have to come up with a specific intermediate so bear that in mind, okay? So we'll look at another example now. Oh, one other point is that uh, would you be able to write a rate equation or come up with a suggestion for a rate equation? Now, as you can see in the rate determining step, you have one of this hydrogen and two NO molecules uh, involved. You should be able to come up with a suggested rate equation. Now, you can't be sure about this. but You can suggest, okay, this could be the rate equation, okay? Rate equals K. Uh, equals K uh, concentration of NO to the power 2 as there are two molecules involved in the rate equation and so it's second order with respect to NO so you could uh, suggest this um, but it, this may not be the rate equation but all you can say is this is a possibility based on that being the rate determining step okay here is an uh, OCR, OCR question but if you look through that, this is from the content we've done already. So I'm just going to um, pause this, ask you to pa pa pause this video, try this for yourself. I and mean, you should be able to do that. However, um, if you're not able to do that, then look through the solution. We have uh, seen how uh, to use the rate equation, what that means, and how to use the values given. Uh, information given to work out the rate constant, which is what this question is asking. So you should be able to do that yourself. Okay, so try that. Pause. And I'm going to go through. Uh, and, and if you want to check your uh, answers, then you can just continue playing and you'll be able to see the answers and working out. Okay. So bear, uh, have a look at what's, what information is given in the equation. A full equation is given. A rate equation is given. You're given the initial rate of the reaction was this, so you're given a rate of uh, here. Um, so you're given 
the rate of the reaction here. Okay, so that is this. Then you have the concentration of NO, which is given here, and then the hydrogen concentration was also given is also given here. It says initial concentration, initial rate. So you have some idea about at the start of the reaction. That's initial rate. Okay, so you you given all this information. You're supposed to uh, then calculate the rate constant. That's the part A. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then part B is asking calculate the initial rate of the reaction of the experiment when it's repeated under the same condition, which is temperature and pressure, and the concentration of NO2 is both doubled. Okay, so we'll look at that. First, first uh, look at A. You, you might as well try this and then, uh, you, you, sorry, you should have tried this already. Uh, now this is just, I'm going to work through the solution very quickly. Okay. So all I've done is written the rate equation here, over here. Okay, so that's already given in the question, and then I'm going to use the numbers here. So the rate of the reaction is 6.62 times 10 power minus 6 equals, we don't know what K is, so I'm going to put K. Concentration of NO is given as uh, 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 29 times 10 power minus 2. So you just substitute the values correctly. I uh, should have no problems. Okay, H2, uh, the concentration of H2 is 2.3 times 10 power minus 2. Then rearrange this K equals this number. Uh, be careful when you input these numbers in your calculator. Uh, 6.62 times 10 power minus 6 divided by these two numbers, okay, so 2.9 times 10 power minus 2 whole square times um, 2.3 times 10 power minus 2. So just put this uh, numbers in the calculator and you should be able to get the answer. We'll look at the units as well. So that should be uh, this. So you should have got this answer. 0 0.32 give an answer to minimum two or three significant figures. Now, this, uh, the one of the numbers got two significant figures and the other one is three, the value is given. You would go for the least significant number, which is being two. So give your answer to two significant figure would be okay, or, you know, go for that one. Now let's have a look at the units, how to get the units right for, for the right constant here. Now you have uh, one concentration term here and two uh, is two concentration terms, but mind you, this is squared. So one way of uh, doing this quickly is each of these concentration terms is mole per dm cube. You might want to give the full form, or I can just use x. So for each uh, each concentration term, I'm going to just use an x. So for here for this I'm going to use x for this I'm going to use x square um, and you also have another concentration term here but squared and then the one here okay but mind you you have to get the unit from the rate equation here okay so I'm just going to uh, rearrange this all of that here to get the k I hope you you know that how to do that from uh, or work in uh, rate equations. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Okay, let's just show you how to do that, or uh, remind you how to do this. Okay, so x square uh, times uh, x. So I'm just using x square for this, x for this, and I've already rearranged it uh, over here. Uh, Mind you, you need to put uh, a um, to the power minus uh, seconds to the power minus one because this is the unit for the rate. Rate is mole per dm cube per second. So that would be mole dm to the power minus three per second. So that's the unit for the rate here, uh, which is what I have written like this. So the x stands for this part here. Um, and the x square is for 
uh, this NO2 when it's rearranged over right. So we're looking at the right constant. So then this X is the unit for mole per dm cube for the hydrogen, okay? Then the, all you have to do is cancel it, um, simplify it, okay? Uh, so that gets cancelled with that one. So you have basically, you have this, okay? X to the power minus 2, minus 1. And then replace this X with mole per dm cube. Uh, mole dm cube. Remember to put a bracket on this, it gets uh, it goes wrong. Then you uh, multiply this minus 2 in here. Remember, minus 2 times minus 3 is positive 6. So be careful with that one. Easy to make mistakes with the units, okay? So mole minus 2 dm to the power 6 per second is your unit for the rate constant. Question before. Uh, so I'm going to rewrite this is the second part of the previous question now we're going into the mechanism which is what this uh, um, lesson is about okay so we're going to use the rate equation from the rate equation here uh, so rate equals this this is already given in the question okay to the power 2 and h2 okay so this is from the previous part the rate equation is given so what they are asking you is to identify the rate determining step from the rate equation uh, so all you have to take uh, notice of is that there are two NO molecules in the rate equation uh, so in the rate determining step you should have two NO uh, molecules and one of H2 now if you look at the first one you have two NO uh, species here uh, second step you have uh, something some intermediate being made here in the first step and that reacts with H2 to form another intermediate now i say this is also another intermediate because you know that gets cancelled out in the third step okay so this is a three-step mechanism that's where they've given it and they ask you to identify the rate determining step it can't be step one because you know you only you only have two no there but if you look at step two you have just h2 but leading up to h uh, step two so if you just look at step two here so that step over here this is a different color so that step here you have already two NO up to that point and then this step is something that's made with two NO and then H2 so it makes sense now in the second step something that is made with the two NO reacts with H2 so basically uh, step two is your rate determining step because that involves indirectly two uh, NO molecules and one H2. Now you don't see the two NO uh, two NO molecule in the second step, but you have something that is actually made of two NO uh, from the first step here. Okay, so that second step is your rate determining step. Okay, so, so the answer to this is actually. Uh, second step so step two would be the end answer uh, your explanation is in step two uh, step step one in step one you have uh, two NO molecules involved to make an intermediate and in step two uh, to an intermediate which you don't have to say all of this basically you can just say in step two uh, two molecules of NO and H2 are involved. You don't say uh, anything else, just that's enough. So what you say is two molecules of NO and one 
molecule of H2 involved in this step. Done. We're talking about step two, okay? All right, done. Here is another uh, OCR question. Uh, the first part is not strictly from what we've just been doing, but you should be able to deal with this. Uh, it's asking you, uh, a set of reactions are given, steps, steps of uh, a reaction, and you have to write an overall equation for, uh, for this mechanism given. Okay, you should be able to do that and identify the catalyst. Now, if you uh, are familiar with catalysts or substances, that are um, not used in the in in a, in a reaction. Okay, so it's not used up in in a chemical reaction. Uh, if it is used in one step, it is regenerated in another step. Okay, so that's what you should look for uh, in that. Okay, so let's write an overall reaction first. Now you can see that. Um, certain things can be cancelled out. So if you look at this, these three, um, NO2 appears on the, on the left and the right hand side of step one and step two. You also have this NO appearing on the left and the right here. Uh, then you have uh, the O, oxygen atom appearing. So you can see that the overall reaction is uh, will have you have to add this O2 with this, and you have this O3. Okay, so that's all that there is in in an overall reaction. Okay, so how do you do that? So uh, O2 plus half. O2, you can write well, actually one and a half O2, that's also okay. So that is O3, okay. Now, if you look for the catalyst, uh, it's uh, easily seen that the NO here is used in the first step and regenerated in the second step. So the NO is the catalyst in this case, okay. So the catalyst is the catalyst as uh, and you know if you were to justify your answer then you say uh, used in step one and regenerated in step two the second part of that question gives you two steps of a, a reaction and some other information is also given here the first step being the slower step uh, then you, you, you're you asked to write a rate equation for this process. So how do you do that? Just look at what species is involved there and write the rate equation. Rate equals K uh, NO and O3. Done. Um, explain your reasoning. Okay, so you have to explain this. You can say in the slow step or the rate determining step, one molecule of NO is involved and one molecule of ozone, O3, is involved. 